Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark here on our cluster series. And today we're going to be breeding some megatheriums because as you guys know, we're going to be trying to go for the broodmother boss. Uh, we we, we want to at least kill the gamma and I probably want to fight the beta as well just to see if my army can kill them. I don't know. Uh, we're not going to fight the alpha, of course, but here's what we got so far. Now, a few episodes ago, we tamed up a crap ton. I started combining all the stats and I started taming some more megatheriums. Uh, in terms of stats and everything, I think the only one that we replaced was a melee one, which I do believe is, is this one, actually. So previously, uh, which one was the one with the melee? I think it was this, yeah. So previously, this was our highest melee stat, and then we went ahead and we teamed this one, and it has like 42 extra, so that's, a, that's just absolutely amazing. Uh, so we've combined all those stats into two megatheriums here, and through combining, like through like trying to get these two together i actually got a mutation with the uh with the stats that we needed so a 296 is what we needed and uh we got a 296 with a mutation on it so it's a 298 and it has a health mutation health i said that really weird what the i don't even understand but anyway yeah so here we go we uh we're gonna be doing some megatherium breeding of course the the good part about megatheriums in terms of colors is that they only have two regions so I can try to just get as many as I can with really cool colors and then just try to combine those together because it's the hands like combined with the feet and the face and pretty much all the skin and then the other region is the fur so it's pretty cool so we could get like one color and then one really nice color on the hands and then another really nice color on the fur and then we can obviously just combine those two together I don't really mind uh doing it that way to have some really cool looking megatheriums and uh, hopefully by the end of this episode, we should have a decent amount of mutations on them and also a really nice combination to chuck into our museum. But uh, right now they are, they should be breeding. Yeah, they're mating right now. Uh, so I have this female mating with the male with the uh, perfect stats. And then this female is just going to sit over here. And if we get a male baby, then it's going to breed with that one. If we get a female, it's going to continue to breed with this one. Same kind of strategy. I really need to make a video on this because people just... People just don't understand how this is done properly, so I gotta do that at some point for sure because I feel like, yeah, a lot of people need to know how to do this properly, and I don't completely explain every single step in a video because I don't really, uh, I don't want to continuously, like, repeat myself, but, um, yeah, we have a little while until the first baby pops out, and, uh, we're looking for a level 300, that means that it has the current mutation plus an extra one on top, and uh, I want either health or melee. I don't need weight. I don't need stam. And I would hate if we got oxygen or food. So health or melee is what we're going for. Because these are boss fighting megatherium. So guys, make sure they hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit when I have something to show. Alright, so we have our second mutation. It is a health mutation. And as you can see, we got a yellow color. Uh, on the first mutation, the color mutation of it was this whitey gray. I don't think I mentioned that, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's plainly obvious. Uh, and then right here, obviously, that's being replaced with the yellow. So I do imagine that all of the colors, well, all two of the color regions on this dude are going to constantly be changing throughout this whole mutation process. So, uh, yeah, we're going to obviously keep this one. We're not going to get rid of any of them. I'll probably get rid of that one because I don't really want that color by the end of this, but... Uh, I'll keep this yellow, though, because the yellow could go well with a, a couple different colors, so we'll see. But, uh, yeah, just in general, an extra health mutation is really helpful because the Broodmother is super strong, so I do not want my guys to die against it. Let's just put it on mating for when it is fully grown up. I'll just leave you right there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to turn you off of breeding uh, because we do not want that anymore. So we're going to have to wait for this one to grow up, and then I could shove that one to the side. And uh, you are a female, and you were also a female, so yeah, we don't have to change anything else here. So, oh man, two mutations so far. That's awesome. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, wow. Now, this thing looks amazing. Um, So, I just spotted that the mutation was a third melee mutation, and I don't... I think I've only showed off, like, the, the second health mutation. I kind of just felt like I'm not going to go too heavy into the mutations on these guys, so I'm probably just gonna like skip a few. So first of all, we had the first health, second health, which is the last one that you guys saw. Then we got a health plus a melee, and it has like the purple hands and the yellow body. Um, then we got this one, two health and two melee. We lost the yellow body, but we kept the uh, the purple hands. And then this is what we've just got. 
which is two health and three melee, which is actually really awesome. Now, I think this is probably where we're going to stop on these guys, uh, because this is, this is definitely enough to at least take down the beta one. Now, we can keep all the parents, and, uh, and then obviously, why am I naming it that? I should just be naming it two health. Uh, three melee and then apparently a square bracket and a hashtag um so yeah this is probably where we're gonna stop on these guys and then we have to focus on actually making up our army now i think i was talking to cheese because we're gonna be doing the broodmother battle with cheese he wants to bring a uteranus and he said i should just bring uh the megatheriums because he says that my ones are a lot better than his ones so we're gonna have to get what like 19 of these guys then at least i mean i could probably do less for the beta one but yeah 19 of them should do it should definitely cover the whole fight and i should probably be able to just leave them over there um let me just bring it over here a little bit so yeah we're gonna need 19 of them and 19 saddles now i have to go up and show you guys the saddle blueprint because it's pretty expensive to be honest so let's go ahead and leave you right there but uh, just in general, the colors are really, really nice. I actually like this as like the final kind of color for Megatheriums. I think this would be great. So I think that when this is fully grown up, we're going to get a uh, a Dermis from it. I just remember I should disable uh, mating on you. We're going to get a Dermis from this one and then um, use this one inside of our museum because it's really nice. Like it's got like this kind of uh, cobalty kind of blue color and then it's got like the purple hands, face and feet. Looks really awesome. So uh, yeah. That is, that's really, really nice. Let me get you to sit down, actually. Here you go, little buddy. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, so let's head back up here, and I can show you guys the blueprint, because it's it's pretty expensive, not gonna lie. Um, It costs, I think, over a 1,000 uh, cementing paste, which is not too much of an issue for us right now, because we actually have uh, just a crap ton of cementing paste from our Akatinas, so... I should be able to afford that, and I mean, I should be able to afford like 50 or 60 of them if I wanted to, but we're obviously only going to need 19. Uh, and then I think the only thing that's going to be super expensive for me is going to be the hide, uh, because I do believe I do not have that much hide for, for these guys, so you guys will see in a second. Like, they're, they're pretty expensive, and it's also a Mastercraft one, so it's not the best one possible, but it is pretty decent. All right, we're almost here. Sweet. So, I think I have it over in the smithy. Let's go over and have a little look. I'm out of stam. Uh, so, yeah, here it is right now. Um, okay, so, cost over a thousand cementing paste. That's fine. Uh, 1500 fiber. That's achievable. I mean, I do have a, uh, what are they called? There is, you know, so I can go ahead and get a ton of fiber. The hide is obviously difficult there, and metal should be fine. I have tons of metal. So, let's actually, let me just go ahead and check how much hide we have. Just click on something. There we go. And then hide. So yeah, we have about 50,000, 53,000 ish. Um, so that's, that should be, yeah, that, that's not enough. <laughs> We're going to need a little bit more. Let's go ahead and just craft a few of these anyway. Um, I do believe I have like one of these already crafted. So we only need, uh, an additional 16 on top of this. So, uh, in terms of cementing paste though, this guy over here has been collecting all this medic paste that they've been dropping, and I have a crap ton more uh, inside of... Oh, can I not? Okay, hang on. I have a crap ton inside of one of my uh, storage thingies there. Let me see. Akatina paste. Yeah, you can see I have tons. I have absolutely tons. There's even some inside of my uh, snails that I think that thing ran out of uh, kibble to run. So we have just tons and tons of that, so we're not going to need any more of that. But yeah, we're definitely going to need fiber, hide, and then I think we should be good on that metal. I mean, it only costs like 600 per saddle, so it's kind of expensive, but at the same time, it's not really. So I should be able to afford all that. So what we got to do now is just let these things breed. I got to make a crap ton of them, and uh, then we got to go ahead and start saddling them up and probably gathering more hide. Maybe cheese could probably chip in a little bit with the hide. We'll see. But um, yeah, we got another megatherium over here. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and kill you. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, man. Okay, so we're back, and apparently I've just not been checking this. We have just a full thing of gotcha crystals. Let me go ahead and do this really quick. Oh, man. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Let's head over to this thingy. Mr. Grinder. And bam. So I've made up all the saddles that we need now, and uh, we're just ready to go down and put them onto all the gotcha, or 
gotchas. Oh my god. Megatheriums. What the hell? Technically, they're both sloths, so I think that's an okay mistake. But uh, yeah, so we're ready to go down and put them onto all those guys. I have 19 of them in total, which is great. So we just got to go ahead and like level them now at this point. So maybe I'll take one out and we'll just see kind of what they level up to. And then for the rest, I'll just hatch a bunch of eggs or something to uh, get those ones leveled. Oh my god, this is so many crystals. Ah, so freaking many. All right, let's see. These rifles are not that good. Um, I'm just going to have a quick look through everything here. I don't see anything amazing in there so i'm just gonna go ahead and chuck everything into the grinder um then obviously metal and the other stuff i'll pull out later but we've got more crystals to open over here we have like another 200 so and probably a little bit more yeah because there was a bunch of the ground outside that's how i knew that i needed to do this we gotta put the propellant back in here uh so once we have the tech tier stuff we're gonna have this thing called a crystal cracker which is essentially just a structure that opens up the crystals for you it's great oh we kind of froze up there for a second uh so yeah that's gonna be really really handy we can go ahead and just like leave it going and then occasionally check it and there's gonna be a bunch of uh resources whatever gotchas i have going uh along with a bunch of like weapons and tools and armor and everything so it's gonna be great i can't wait plus i've never properly used it in a series so it's gonna be really good to actually get to use it because it's kind of new in terms of s plus uh i think i i covered it in that big s plus update a few months ago uh yeah nothing great in there i'm gonna go ahead and just do this gotcha loot really has went down the drain a little bit they seem to have nerfed it into the ground and i mean like this stuff is still pretty freaking good but you get nothing phenomenal so i'm gonna go ahead and just leave this here um grind it up first though whoo look at all that oh my god yeah this is great <laughs> all right so uh let me go grab my things over here and we could probably go ahead and actually grab the rest of these dermises. I'll bring those over to the uh, museum. And I want to actually test out the uh, Megatherium one in the museum just to see how it looks. Uh, one thing I just realized, can you... You can put saddles on dermises, can't you? I think you can. That could be cool. So, like, add to several creatures in the museum. I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, so here's all the Megatheriums. Not all of them have the bluish color or even the purple hands, but that's okay. Uh, some of them do though, um, and then there's some that are like, they have the, whatever, this like kind of brownish coat with the purple hands, and then some have the bluish coat with the uh, regular kind of hands. So uh, yeah, not every single one of them got all the colors passed down, but that's okay. I mean, I don't really care if all of them look the exact same or not. This is fine. This will definitely work for us. So uh, yeah, we have 19 of them though. This is going to be crazy. So let's see. Um, we should probably go through and name them all. Um... So, Sin, Battle, Sloth, M. So the M stands for male. Uh, all right. So we could probably just go through all of them then and just kind of name them something similar to this. This one obviously is a female, so it gets F. Battle, Sloth. <laughs> oh, man. So I'll probably do the rest of this off camera. I'll just keep that copied so I can easily do it. Let's just pop all the saddles on. Oh. I pressed the wrong button there. E. E puts it directly on. So this is going to be amazing. I mean, these saddles are not fantastic, but they're still pretty good. So they should actually help out quite a lot in the arena. Plus, they do take four times uh, reduced damage if they have the buff, which they'll get immediately when they kill a spider in the arena. So it's going to be great. Uh, one thing I might do, just so they don't take that little bit of damage before the broodmother spawns in her babies, because... I think sometimes you can get in there and she might not spawn them immediately. Maybe what we'll do is we'll like pick up a snail with an RG and then just get some of them to like kill him or something. Or uh, you know what? That probably wouldn't work out so good. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it. We'll just go straight into the arena and uh, wait till she poops out her babies. And then we can go ahead and uh, absolutely ruin her. <laughs> so I'm really excited to actually get this going because I've wanted to do this for such a long time. There's one of them here without the saddle, and I don't know which one it is. Or else maybe I counted wrong. Please don't tell me I counted wrong. All right, let's see. One, two. There's a dead baby over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Did I count wrong? No freaking way. Oh no, this one over here. Oh my god. 
For a second there, I was like, how the hell did I manage that one? But there we go. I'm an idiot. There we go. <laughs> so let's take this one out and uh, see how how it goes. We just want to kind of see what we can get in terms of levels on it uh, and what we should be kind of pumping. I would say we're going to need a lot of health to begin with. No matter what, we're going to need just a ton of health on these guys. Even though they take reduced damage, it still can, like, I don't know. I feel like we could still take a huge amount of damage in there no matter what. So maybe let's go for like 25k health for the, at least the beta broodmother. Because, I don't know, with the alpha, I feel like I'm going to need a little bit more than that. But this is just a test. We can go up to 25k and then we can pump the rest into damage. Let's head down here and kill some mantis and whatnot. Get our little buff. So this is the type of damage that we'll be doing. That is awesome. That's without any uh, like points pumped into the melee. Obviously, it's just the imprint. So that is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh, man. And then we take the four times reduced damage as well. Or I think it's four times. I'm not exactly sure if, the, if it's actually four times. Did I get hit by that? No, I don't think I did. Oh man, that's the other attack right there. 1600. That is crazy. So yeah, we could use this one. This one's got a bigger AOE, but this one here is like a lot more damage. And you can't move when you're doing this one. So we're not really going to need to be moving in the Broodmother Arena, which is grand. We should be able to do this. This is craziness. <laughs> ah. See, this one's handy to use if you're chasing things. Oh man. So we got an extra four levels. So at least, I mean, 20k might work. I don't know. Hmm. We're going to have Uteranus buff as well because Cheese wants to bring his Uteranus with him. Oh my god. This is going to be crazy. I don't know, actually. Maybe 20k would work. Yeah. We might just go with 20k. I'd say that could kill the beta. I mean, we should be able to. I'm getting kind of nervous now. I don't know. Leave some comments down below. What should I do? 20 or 25? If anybody has any experience with this, let me know. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, die. <laughs> it's, it's so insane, the amount of damage that these things could have. But oh, I think that this attack here is probably a little bit quicker, actually. Okay, let's see. Bam. Yeah, this one's a little bit slower, so I'm not sure which one would be better to use on him. On the Broodmother. I don't know. Let's see, what do we got over here? Nothing? Hmm. You know, we have so many levels left over. Maybe we should just go to 25. It's not really going to break the bank in terms of levels. That is derpy. Oh my god, I need to see that again. We need to get another level. I need to see that really weird animation right there when he levels he puts his hands up into the air and then i obviously attacked when i when he was doing that so that was amazing you need to pay more attention here we go you guys ready wait for it Whoa. <laughs> what even was that that was so weird all right let's see um we have another arthro over here the most satisfying part about using a Megatherium is how quickly you can kill Arthros. Because nobody likes Arthros. <laughs> What's wrong with my uh, buff up at the corner? Did you guys see that? It went down to zero. And then it was stuck at zero for like a minute. That was really weird. But uh, yeah, these things are absolute beasts. Honestly, I can't wait to try this. It's going to be so good. Uh, one thing that a lot of people probably already know, but I feel like I should probably mention... Do not attempt to use the Megatherium on any other boss. That would be dumb. Do not try that. You'll you'll die immediately. The good part about the Broodmother Arena is when when Megatheriums kill pretty much anything that gives chitin, they get that fiery buff right there. And if you don't have that, they're not amazing. Like they're still pretty good, but they're not amazing. So don't try to use these guys in the other arenas. It's not going to work out at all. So uh yeah. <laughs> I just thought I might mention that one. So we're going to head back to base here and uh, I'm going to have to name all of those guys and then maybe we'll head over to the museum and uh, check out the dermis over there. Okay, so we're here now at the uh, the museum. Where about is my unicorn one? Oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? 
Yeah. Okay. It's difficult to get over here. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. And then, bleh, and we're over. Okay. You know what? I need to freaking tame an Ichthyornis. And I also need to get myself an otter. I still need to do that. Damn, we might have to do that today. Uh, let's see. So we have Charlie the Unicorn. Well, that's not a unicorn. What the hell? No. <laughs> that's not... Why? What? That's not even the unicorn. Dude, I pulled this straight off of the unicorn and it's not the unicorn. What? The crap! I don't even understand. <laughs> what? Like, that's from a unicorn. What? Hang on a second. Okay, let me- let me test something here really quick. One sec. Okay. Bam! Then we got ourselves a unicorn. Oh. We gotta wait a second or else it's just gonna disappear kill it in like a second here um now maybe there we go all right let's get a germus this is a unicorn this one also was a unicorn and it's a horse oh my god that's so irritating i'm gonna drop that on the ground because we don't need that we have our own unicorn one i don't even understand arc like why <laughs> why is this a thing that literally makes no sense at all. I just got the dermis of a unicorn, but I don't get a unicorn dermis. That is so stupid. Oh, my museum's gonna look dumb. <laughs> oh, man. Like, why is that an issue? It shouldn't be an issue. That is really dumb. Man, all right, whatever. I don't know, maybe maybe they can fix it or something. I don't even know, to be honest. Let's just put the Theomia in. Uh, let's see. I like this one. That one's cool. Oh, that is so irritating, though. Seriously. Uh, I need to, like, get a simple way of getting out of here. I burped. Oops. Um, yeah, that's so annoying. That is seriously annoying. <laughs> Oh man. All right. I don't think I've shown this off yet, but uh, I have. Uh, wait, we have the Megatherium here. I thought he was in the snow biome for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so we have that pose there. Go ahead and put our mutated one in. Nice. That looks really cool. So that's the pose that we want on it. That looks super awesome. I like that. Nice. All right. Let me show you what I've done down there. So remember how before. Uh, I mentioned how we're gonna probably have to compact some of this. Well, what I've done is, and I haven't moved them up yet, but I've actually recreated the area where we're gonna be putting the snow creatures up here on the same platform as that. And we're gonna put a bridge coming from here down to here instead of there to there, uh, where those gates are. So we're gonna have to take all this up eventually and move it all up there. Um, and that's going to be on the same little platform here as the Swamplands. So that's that's going to be good. I like I like the fact that I could actually fit the two of them in. So I had to move this one up slightly to the, towards this side. And then, uh, yeah, just build this one down here. And I left a decent amount of room between the two because I don't want it to be one building. They have to be two buildings. So, yeah, um, that's what we got going. Uh, I think I have a couple more Dermises, but I'm not sure if they can place down. So let me show you them, actually. Let's take a little look. So we've got the Basilo, which is messed up slightly. Oh, okay. It was messed up on a small one. Maybe it's not so bad on a big one. So that's, yeah, that's looking pretty cool. I like that. All right. And then we have a Manta. And the Manta is actually really cool. I like that. And then there's this one as well, when it's like further, kind of like the Stinger is like further in. Yeah, it looks cool. I like it. So we're going to go ahead and take those out. I'm really annoyed about that unicorn though like that's so irritating i don't understand why that's an actual issue it doesn't make sense to me why they have dermises in the game but they're not going to complete it by actually you know when you get a, a creature that's i don't even understand <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me maybe the horse and the unicorn kind of count as the same creatures somehow in the game code or something i don't even know but, like, we just tested it there, so clearly you can't get a unicorn dermis, so... 
I don't know. I'm I'm gonna have to figure something out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just put a unicorn in the museum just sitting there because I feel like that's the only other way I'd be able to get one. It's so stupid though. It really is. Alrighty. Well, oh, you know what? I gotta drop these dermises in here. Uh, at some point soon, we're probably gonna go ahead and build up some more of these buildings. So I've got the redwoods next and then the swamp and then the snowy mountains after that. And then we can start working on some of the other areas like the uh, ocean one and uh, all the DLC ones as well. So, uh, yeah. All right. We'll figure something to do. Maybe I'll go get myself an otter. We'll see. All right. So we're over here. Um, this is just past the green obelisk and kind of like the redwoods area. Um, and there's a couple otters here. I've checked a couple of the other spots I know of on this map. And uh, we stopped here because where's it gone? There it is. Is that it? Wait, why does the spyglass keep missing? There we go. 180 male otter. There's also a couple other otters in here, but they're not as good. So we're going to go ahead and try to get that one. Um, I got to put... Oh, crap. You're still following me. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have an ichthyornis on my shoulder. Ichthyornis taming isn't really that interesting so i kind of just went down to the beach and started shooting at one it took me a while to actually hit it though um so where the hell's that otter gone now <laughs> i can't even is that it right there i think that's it right there all right come here come here i need to set you onto a whistle group i think okay let me come here for a second okay let me grab you oh my god all right, just land down right there, and we're going to set him onto a whistle group. We're going to go onto two, and we're going to set you onto that. That's Z to do that, right? I think so. All righty, so what we could do now is we could just set this uh, bird to go around and pick us up some fish. This is the best way to tame up an otter. They don't, like, take kibble or anything. They're a passive tame, so this is kind of how you do it. Let me just try to find the otter first just so I roughly know where he is. It's really difficult because they just, they constantly move around. Um, I actually don't even see him right now. Where's he gone? Little otter buddy is, it's not you over there, no? Okay. I actually don't know where he went. Is that him over there? I think that's him over there by the shore. No, that's the 54. Although that one there is mate boosted, so this must be it. Wait. This right here. There we go. Mail 180. Alrighty, so let's set our little Ichthyornis out to go get us some grub. This, oh, no, wrong whistle. That's the one I wanted to do. Okay, bring me that fish. Oh, no, no. Oh, crap, I think I set it to hunt, didn't I? Oh, crap. Come here. You should be on hunt and retrieve. You know what? Let me get him over to the side. Yeah, I forgot to set him to the specific setting you're meant to. All right, come here. Yeah, let's see. Hunt and retrieve. What's the other one again? No hunt. Hunt. Okay, yeah. And then hunt and retrieve. If I could actually hit him. There we go. All right, so this means that he's going to pick it up and bring it to me. So go get me that fish right there. I think this is the otter we're heading to. No, that's the 54. Okay, go get me another one then. Uh, need to find this otter though. Is that it right there? I think this is it. All right, go get me that fish right there. Nope. That one over there, not the one I'm holding. Why would it be the one I'm holding? All right, whatever. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, go get me this one. Please. Okay, I think this is the 180. Okay, head back down, try to feed this guy. Come on. I wish I had some flippers. This otter is really fast. Hey, fed him once. Okay, go get me another fish. Go get me that one over there. I gotta drop this stupid fish, man. It's so annoying. Why would I want the one that is in my hands? Why is that even an option? 
Go get me that one. <laughs> Why won't it let me whistle onto this? Seriously? There we go. All right. <laughs> it's so messed up. Oh, I'm drowning. Oh, crap. Can't, I can't even get you. We get fed him twice. Hey, go get me this salmon over here. And let's go feed this. The salmon should be the last feed, I think. Damn it. We're gonna miss the perfect tame on this dude. See, this little lake. I wish it was a little bit smaller. No, come on. There we go. Got him. Where's the last fish? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're probably losing like a level or so on here. I'm hitting E. It's just not working. There we go. Yeah, we lost one level. That's okay. Sweet. We got an otter. Nice. So this means that we can actually go ahead and... Uh, and do the caves and then put artifacts inside the otter. If you guys didn't know, uh, you can actually put multiple artifacts inside of an otter, but nothing else. Nothing else of the game will take multiple artifacts. That's a creature or a person or whatever. It's the only way to actually take more than one artifact out of a cave if you're by yourself. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that little bird here. And we've got ourselves an otter. Amazing. Uh, we're probably going to do some breeding with these things eventually. I want to try and get colors that uh, match Winston, if you guys remember Winston. I think everybody does. But uh, yeah, that is super awesome. So guys, make sure they hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this one. And uh, if you want to see more, you can, of course, subscribe as well. Uh, next few episodes, probably like caving on the island, using this otter to grab mul multiple artifacts, of course, and our baryonyx that we got the last episode. And then uh, probably the broodmother after that. And then some awesome stuff after that. I can't wait. But uh, yeah. Catch you guys in the next one. Winston.